let's talk about Cadena. Ready? Let's dive deep. Cadena currently has a circulating supply of 171,287,601 coins out in circulation. If we take the circulating supply, we multiply that by the price, that gives us a market cap of $1 billion. To help put that into context, when Bitcoin hit a peak of $68,500, the market cap was $1.3 trillion. So globally, worldwide, there was roughly $1.3 trillion invested into Bitcoin. We also saw that the peak global market cap, meaning the total amount of money invested into all cryptocurrency worldwide was 2.9 trillion. So because Bitcoin, so Bitcoin, so because Bitcoin made up for 40% of that, that is what people are referring to when they talk about Bitcoin dominance. The amount of money that was invested into Bitcoin versus the rest of the cryptocurrency space. If you invested into Cadena today and the price is $6.15 and the market cap is $1 billion, for you to 2x on that investment and for price to hit $12.30, the market cap would need to be $2 billion. For you to 10x on that investment and for price to hit $61.50, market cap would need to be $10 billion. 20x on that investment, $123, $20 billion. For you to 100x on your investment, if you invested in Cadena today at $6.15, for Cadena to 100x and hit a price point of $651, the market cap would need to be $100 billion. Now, the next thing you're most likely gonna ask is, well, have any other big layer one products ever had market caps even close to 100 billion? Absolutely. We saw Ethereum hit a market cap of 675 billion. We've seen Cardano at 94 billion. We've seen Solana at 80 billion. We've seen Shiba, a meme coin. Shiba, a meme coin, $41 billion. Luna, we saw at 36 billion. Avalanche, 30 billion. And last but not least, Baby Doge, a new project that's fairly new, has a market cap today of 500 million dollars. Baby Doge hit a peak market cap of one billion dollars. The next question you should be asking yourself is if those projects got those insane high market caps, well how? It wasn't just because the project was cool and a bunch of people FOMO'd into it. Shiba was, Dogecoin was, Baby Doge is, but these layer one projects, what took them to these crazy parabolic highs and what keeps them at these parabolic highs? Number one being ecosystem development. And we're also gonna go over the top catalysts that also skyrocketed these projects super fast. Taking a look at a project like Solana, in January of 21, Solana had zero dApps and the price was around a dollar. In the time it took Solana to launch their first 80 dApps, price went up 1,400%, hitting a price point of $14. Market cap was 3.6 billion. When Solana got to 170 dApps, price had got up to $24. Market cap was 7.3 billion. In September, they had launched 219 dApps, $136. When Solana hit its peak, in November, they had over 500 dApps built on top of their ecosystem and price was able to get up to $258 with a $77.99 billion market cap and $15 billion locked in DeFi protocols. Phantom was around two cents in January. By the time they got 14 dApps, price was 39 cents. In May, they had 55 dApps, price was 34 cents. In August, 125 dApps, 86 cents. Phantom hit a peak in March of 2021. They have over 200 dApps built on top of their ecosystem. They peaked out at $3.30 with a market cap of $8.4 billion. Avalanche, same thing. Avalanche started off around $4.40. In a little over three months, price had ran up to $28, 76 dApps, $26. Market was super bearish. That was right after the bull run ended. September, $57, 173 dApps. November, 254 dApps, $88. And the list goes on and on. So if we swing over here to these charts, we take a look at Cadena. Cadena is currently sitting at a price point of around $6.35 and it's going up pretty quick today. I think people are starting to realize what potential Cadena has. We saw the Binance listing, it did absolutely nothing. A lot of people are posting on Twitter every day. I'm tagging Coinbase until they launch Cadena, we don't want them to launch Cadena now. We want them to launch Cadena a month after the Bitcoin halving or two months after a huge NFT project launches or any type of bullish market momentum. When the market's bearish like this and Bitcoin's running down or sideways, getting listed on an exchange is gonna pump the coin, but because there's no infrastructure to support it, it'll just drop back down. Why did Cadena drop down from $28? Because there is no infrastructure to support that. There's no flywheel of people going out and buying projects. So for Cadena to 10X right now, I would say that there would need to be 50 dApps on top of their ecosystem. 
I would say Cadena will be around $35. For Cadena to 10X, I think we need to see 100 dApps, put price around $65. And for Cadena to 20X, I would say we need to see 200 dApps built on top of the Cadena ecosystem. Now, if we take a look at these charts, the next target up is calling for $6.77 but based off of market structure, just because Cadena has been running sideways, the whales could be ready to manipulate you. So it could go up to 677 and then B target back down to the downside. I say anytime Dana's in the $6 price range, that is the buying opportunity of a lifetime. Very rare are you gonna see people that are not willing to um, invest in Cadena at these price levels. I mean, it's just a no brainer. 594, 542, 488, those are the three DCA targets. I mean, honestly, anytime Cadena is below $8 because it has such massive upside potential, to me, it's just a no brainer, really. So we talk about top catalysts in the industry today. Solana and Star Atlas was absolutely massive. Star Atlas actually broke Solana. So when we talk about one big gaming project on Cadena could send this project through the roof. And why Star Atlas was so awesome? Because everything that happened in Star Atlas was NFTs, the ships, the lands, the hype, the posters, everything that went into that game, how they did their original launch was absolutely revolutionary. It was mind blowing. Cardano, just the hype around Cardano smart contracts sent Cardano to a $94 billion market cap. This one blew my mind. The fact that not one big crypto hedge fund is holding Cardano in their portfolio leads me to believe that a majority of money invested into Cardano came from retail investors. How did that happen? Because for the last four years, Charles has been putting out daily and weekly updates, keeping their community updated. Because Charles was putting out three videos on YouTube a week, he built the community. His face being there was saying, hey guys, this is me. I'm working on this project. Here's my criteria, Who's, here's who I am. And the community just fell in love with Charles. They really did, I personally did, until we kind of got lied to here recently. I had so much faith in Cardano because of Charles, and it was that trust that grew them to a $94 billion market cap. So we have Doug, Will, Stu, Emily, Greg, Francesco, Paul, Sue, if I'm saying that right, HSU. They have seven people on their team. If each person on their team spent 15 minutes recording one video, just saying, hey guys, hey, we're working on wrapped assets. They might be launching in September, but if they don't come out till December, it's crypto, you know, it happens. So don't hold us to the fire, you know? If they were just completely transparent and honest and kept the community updated, I can't think of one other specific thing that a team could do that would have a higher impact that would require less work from their team. I think education is the single most important aspect about any cryptocurrency ecosystem. The more you educate your community, the more you update your community, the more likely it is that your community is going to trust and believe in you. And when times get bad, we're not gonna sell. We're gonna hold on forever because we have faith in that company. Next up, NFTs. Almost every single big layer one ecosystem increased by a thousand percent over a 365 day period after NFTs launched. Jasmine and a few other products have did these trading competitions. Let's just say if the Cadena Foundation has some extra money, once things are turned on, once Cadex is turned on, once their ecosystem is booming, these trading competitions have made such massive positive impacts on price. And it doesn't seem like the products are dumping. Jasmine actually stayed up and I think that product's garbage. So these trading competitions will bring in a lot of attention to your ecosystem and the ones that were taking place on Binance were the best. So that would be awesome to see some Cadena trading competitions. And then again here, Cardano daily videos. We talk about the DeFi growth rate in DeFi ecosystems. In 2020, there was $1 billion invested in DeFi. In 2021, it hit 225 billion. Experts are predicting $2 trillion locked in DeFi by the end of 2022, 3.5 trillion by the end of 2023, and it keeps going on, right? And I've said this in a few videos, why Solana is the only real competition for Cadena and why Cardano most likely won't be competition. If we take a look at the gas fees on Cardano, they were 97 cents per transaction last night to execute a transaction on the Cardano blockchain would cost you 97 cents. To do the same transaction on Solana would cost you 0 0.000 875. If the average trader has 20 assets, they stake those in DeFi, they compound those three times a day, or they claim their rewards three times a day, which is how you are the most profitable in DeFi, over 365 days, that would be 21,000 transactions per year. So for you to execute 21,000 or 22,000 transactions on Solana, $19. For you to execute roughly 22,000 transactions on Cardano, that would be $21 thousand dollars now say you're a business and you're accepting payments or you're doing something that involves having a transaction on a blockchain if you're a business and you do a thousand transactions a day maybe you're a restaurant and you sell food or you're a vendor outside and you sell hot dogs on the corner and you sell a thousand hot dogs in a day whatever the case may be a thousand transactions you're talking about 320 dollars on solana 
those same thousand transactions a day on Cardano would cost you $355,000. So when you're talking about a business that wants to save, if Solana is offering the same services as Cardano, Solana will win because no business is going to want to pay $355,000. And I say that because if we take a look at the compounding interest calculator, and we talk about daily compounding interest. If you're an average business and you were to save $355,000 in one year using Solana versus Cardano, after that first year, if you had $355,000, if we were to take that $355,000 and we were to stake it in Anchor Protocol, which pays you 20% APY, which is 0.05% daily, your $350,000 would turn into $426,000. You would earn 71 on the money that you saved using Solana, not Cardano. Now, a lot of people are gonna say, oh, well, Hydra is a layer two and the layer two is gonna deliver all of these promises. But we've been promised layer twos on every single big project that has hit limitations and never once has any layer two been able to scale a layer one. And if you listen to Michael Saylor or any of these people speak, right? You would not wanna build the World Trade Center on a sandbar in the middle of the ocean. You would wanna find a nice slab of granite and you would wanna build on granite, right? It's all about that foundation. Now I can't say for certain, but taking a look at a project like Cardano, how many engineers do you think Cardano has working for them? 500? We know the Ethereum team has 1,000. So Cardano has 500, Ethereum has 1,000 engineers. All of these engineers are working on how to figure out how to fix this problem of scalability. So 1,500 engineers working on trying to fix a problem, Cadena's fix that problem. So as the Cadena team grows and scales, they will have the same resources as Cardano and Ethereum, meaning they could hire 500 or 1,000 engineers and have those engineers working on building, not fixing or trying to repair or solving problems, but actually building the future of the industry. So once Cadena starts to scale, you probably won't see 1,000 or 500 engineers trying to fix the blockchain trilemma or trying to build a layer two that rolls this up and scales this because Cadena built the foundation layer. Now that the foundation is there, the possibilities are really limitless. Now it just all depends on can the Cadena team incentivize people to build on top of their ecosystem. Currently, Cadena has four dApps built on top of their ecosystem. Price is $6.14. Market cap is 1 billion. They currently have 7.9 million locked in TVL. If we swing over to DeFi Llama, we can currently see that TVL has went up by $500,000 in the last 24 hours. And we have four applications, Babe, Cadex, Anadex, and KD Launch. And this is where it's critically important to understand that. And even though Avalanche claims that they have 500 dApps built on top of their ecosystem, when an asset bridges over to your ecosystem, it doesn't really bring that much value. It definitely adds value, but it doesn't bring in massive resources or utilization of that underlying asset. For example, when Platypus Finance launched on Avalanche, how did you buy that asset? For example, you would have to buy Avalanche. So you go over to Bybit, buy your Avalanche, you send it over to your wallet, then you go on to Trader Joe and you buy that asset during their initial DEX launch or their IDO. The idea is that you need that underlying asset being Avalanche to take it and go buy the low cap gem. So every time a low cap gem launches on Cadena, people might be selling Ethereum, going and buying Cadena, and then coming bringing that Cadena into CADEX and then buying that low cap gem. Same with every NFT launch. Anytime an NFT, when the Cadena Kongs launch, might be $500 by then, but you're gonna need to go grab some Cadena and go buy yourself a Cadena Kong. Everybody's always talking about when Binance, when Coinbase, when this. If you guys watch my Cadena Vortex video, I really break down how these projects scale. And this is why I think education has the biggest impact and why I'm trying to help educate you guys on what Cadena is possible. Because if I'm right about Cadena, I may not have the largest crypto community in the whole wide world interweb, but I can say for certain that if I'm right about Cadena and Flux, I will have the wealthiest crypto community on the whole wide world interweb. And I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Shout out to the Cadena team, shout out to the Cadena community. Hopefully they can incentivize people to build because it's the future.